Galaxy Fold Lite it was a thing in 2020, but then we never heard about it again. Until now. A leaker has hinted that Samsung might be working on a budget foldable phone which will be part of the mid-tier Galaxy A series. It is also in early development stages so no other infos are known at this moment. But according to past rumors if you look at, the Galaxy Z Fold Lite of the past had a smaller 7-inch display unlike the Galaxy Z Fold 3 7.6-inch main screen and a much smaller 4-inch copper panel unlike the Galaxy Z Fold 3's 6.2 inch. Now there is also another rumor where we can see a tiny little slim cover screen. I don't know which one is which but you get the point right? We've seen a patent too. Now at the time it was expected to support the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chip and a 256GB of storage and was said to cost between 900 bucks and 1100 bucks. Now it's all irrelevant. Considering it will be an A series device not a high-end flagship so you can't expect snapdragon 8 series processors anyway rather you will get some kind of mid-range processor and will hopefully be much more affordable than thousand bucks because if you look at samsung's most affordable folding phone the galaxy z flip 3 that cost thousand bucks so it will be an interesting product nonetheless but yeah it won't cost thousand bucks and that is not affordable now you'll probably be asking why because competition has already started to have very good foldable devices coming to the market. So Samsung being the leader in the foldable smartphone game will have to step up to find more options to expand its foldable smartphone portfolio somehow. So that's what they're doing. Now there is one confirmed thing that is coming is the Galaxy Watch 5. Now we have heard so many things about it but now there is a rumor that is kind of supporting the other rumor is that the Galaxy Watch 5 might feature a thermometer sensor. There was a rumor in the March saying that the Galaxy Watch 5 will come with a built-in thermometer and that would be able to accurately measure body temperature and also could help with virus detection and cold management and stuff like that. Since a temperature sensor can't measure the core body temperature, it must be supported by a strong algorithm to determine someone's precise body temperature. A Reddit user recently saw a skin temperature during sleep toggle after they updated to the latest Samsung Health beta app, which suggests that Samsung is indeed working on this feature, but it is not confirmed whether it will come this year or not. So yeah, that's about it. And yeah, check out my website on your computer, tablet, or your phone. Jointhevit.com, link down below. It's for everything tech. You're gonna get all these and more tech news way faster than these videos. These videos take a lot more time and effort to create. So subscribe this channel and like this video as I appreciate that and definitely visit my website or watch my other videos. Bye and take care.